to convert our points and condenser in this used 009 distributor that I picked up uh, over to uh, electronic ignition. Now this is not the Petronix, this is a cheap MP uh, model. I'll put a link to it on Amazon and yes, you will uh, give me a dollar or whatever, 50 cents a nickel. But I'm gonna show you how to install this and see if it's worth it um, for the $30 that it costs to replace points and uh, condenser. So uh, let's get into this and see what it takes. First thing we want to do is remove that screw right there, kind of in the middle. That will undo our hole down on our points there. And then we'll go over and we'll take off that clip. We'll remove the points completely out. Then we'll remove the uh, condenser there. So first things first, let's get that little screw out there. All right, so we have that screw out. Go ahead and just pull this out real quick here. And a little washer on that. And then, there's your points. And then we just gotta disconnect it from right there. There we go. Now our points are uh, out of this. Now we're gonna go and take off that one right there and that should pull off our condenser from here. Okay, we'll take this off now. Okay, that screw is off. This here should just pop straight out. And now we have our condenser off. So we'll put that aside. Now that's uh, a bare naked distributor. Let's get this CompuFire, uh, or, yeah, not CompuFire, or uh, MP electronic ignition into this. As you can tell, here's that little set pin on the new points, or the new uh, electronic ignition, and that's the hold down screw. And so inside this 009 distributor, you can see there's a bigger hole and that's where that pin's gonna go. And that smaller hole is where the screw's gonna go to hold it down into place. So let's take a second and let's get that module in there and tighten down. All right, so our kit comes with, this is the uh, magnet to uh, help do the pickup. Uh, I believe this is for something else we're not gonna use, but there's the set screw for the uh, module here so allen wrench comes with it put it in there we'll get that set up in there and we'll get the rest of this connected up real quick so let's grab it and put that in all right i have it now screwed down in there and kind of tight next thing we're gonna do is route these wires through the opening right here and get those out of there so the instruction sheet says to give your distributor a spin to make sure that none of the lobes touches the module and I have so I've spun it around and there is no contact so we can move on to the next step okay we got the wires going on through now if you have a vacuum advance um, set up on your distributor you're gonna need this little spacer but I do not have vacuum on mine so next is this little thing and that is your actual pickup and notice how it's a circle on top but over here it's kind of a square kind of squared off that coincides with the contact points for when it rolls over that. So the way this goes in is you take it, it fits down only one way. It's gonna square itself up on the lobes and then just slowly push it down. Do not force it, but it should go nice and easily down onto the bottom of the rotor. And it should be about a 1.5 millimeter gap between the top of this and the bottom of this. So ready let's go ahead and let's put that in and it goes in just like that with the hat facing up. okay it is down and on there i can spin it and it's seated yep that's down on there and you can't really tell but you can kind of see that's probably about 1.5 on there so it's down it's seated all the way down okay next we're just gonna attach this little cover plate just slide it up over there and clip it into place right there all right it's in place woot woot. let's see next i think we're going to put that cap and rotor on and uh take it over to the car all right we have that in place and i did not put the dust cap on just yet just kind of want to show this off but that is how that works that's going to spin and fire Okay, let's put that cap on and let's go uh, pop it in the car. 
Okay, so back here in your type four, to pull the distributor, it's that nut right there. That one right there. That other one, which kind of see back in there, that is actually for your adjusting your timing. But we'll have to adjust the timing with this new one once we get it in there. But that's the nut to take off. So let me get out the old one and I'll drop this new dizzy in and we'll go from there. Okay, so we'll just pull that nut off. Make sure you got it off of there. Should be a washer as well. We'll take that washer off. There we go. And then we're just gonna pull out this old one. Just like that, just go straight up. And out she'll come. All right, so we put the new one down in there. Make sure it goes down. Make sure it's on that bolt. Nice and secure. One more thing I totally forgot. The wire that comes out, make sure to check your red to the positive side of your coil. And then the negative side goes over here. And this is the side that did have your condenser plugged in that you took off. So plus, minus, hook those two wires up. All right, guys, just took the 912 out for a test spin with that new uh, pointless distributor, that module in there. And I have to say, um, it did really well. But at about 4,000, it starts to kind of get weak in a sense. I don't feel that power past 4,000. But under 4,000, it seems to run just fine. So for 30 bucks, um, you know, if I don't have to change points and do all that finagling and with the, the way condensers have been the last couple of years just being total crap, uh, I think I'm going to buy an extra set, throw in the glove box um, for that other distributor in case something would happen on the road. I at least have a spare distributor with a set of points or a set of electronic ignition ready to go drop in if i'm on the road and i have some problems all right guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe uh next video we shall do the uh, timing and we're going to do both a static timing with a test light and then we're going to do it with a strobe light for these type four so thanks guys so much talk to you soon